Hey guys, what's up? My name is Crip13 and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna look at Hu Tao's goblet choices and looking at which subsets to prioritize in order to give us the biggest return on attack and damage because this is actually not very clear for Hu Tao. And before we start, for people that don't know, Hu Tao's main source of damage will come from her Paramito Papilio state, which is her E skill. And this is going to scale off of her max HP. So you would think that you'd probably want to go all in on HP percent to get the most damage. So that's why we're taking a look at the goblet and substats in particular. And hopefully this video is going to help us answer the question on how much HP percent we should actually invest. So the first thing we're going to look into is whether we should run a pyro damage goblet or an HP percent goblet. To start off, any optimal build is going to need to build her HP in some way, either from an HP sans artifact or getting lucky from your substats. It's also going to need to use some kind of crit circlet, either crit damage or crit rate. There's definitely no way around this. The question that's up in the air is whether or not to use HP percent on the goblet. So let's dive right into that. These calculations are going to be done with a staff of Homa while we are above 50% HP, plus 16 artifacts, and a level 8 talent level scaling. And these results should hold true for most other builds because of the ratios, they're still going to be the same. The percent increase between a pyro damage goblet and HP percent goblet is going to be the same as well when you level it up to plus 16 or plus 20. This means that at plus 16 either artifact piece is going to give you a 38.7% boost and at plus 20 is going to give you a 46.6% boost. These calculations that I'm going to do are going to be using a Staff of Homa at max level, giving us 608 base attack, along with a two-piece Crimson Witch set, giving us an extra 15% pyro damage bonus. And so just by looking at this very simple chart and graph, we can clearly see that pyro damage bonus does more damage than HP percent at level 70. With her passive active, her charge attacks are going to do 11% more damage. Without her passive, it's going to do 17 to 18% more damage. And so with no bonuses at all, if we remove the Crimson Witch set and the 33% from her passive, we are going to deal 21% more damage. So this damage gap is increasing as you remove more and more damage bonus from your build. The most common damage bonuses that you'll be getting is obviously the 33% from her passive, damage bonuses from artifact sets, or a passive effect from your weapon. So that means the more pyro damage bonus you're missing, you will be doing lesser and lesser damage if you use an HP goblet over a pyro damage goblet. And then and if we look at talent level 6 and at talent level 10, the ratios pretty much stay the same. At talent level 6, she does 8% more damage with her passive active and 17.5 without it. At level 10, she does 10.8 with her passive active, which is about 1 to 2 extra percent. And then with the passive, it's about 16.5, which is pretty insignificant. So even at different talent levels, the ratio stays pretty much the same with a difference of about 1 to 2 percent. And since the Staff of Homa scales so wildly with HP, I'm sure that a lot of people are wondering what if we were at a higher level because our base HP is going to give us more attack power. So I'll do the comparisons again at level 80 and level 90 since we are getting about 2000 to 3000 extra base HP. At level 80, the pyro damage goblet is giving us 10.5% more damage over the HP goblet, and at level 90, it gives us 10.2, so there's basically no difference at all. And if we do these same calculations with the Black Cliff Pole with one stack, the Pyro Damage Goblet does about 11.2% more damage over an HP percent goblet. So the conclusion is that Pyro Damage Percent is going to be the best option in pretty much every case and at every level. Next, I want to go over her max attack increase and the chances that you'll actually hit her 400% cap. This chart shows us the max attack increase depending on your level and the weapon that you're holding. For simplicity, I just use two common levels, level 70 ascended and level 80 non-ascended. Since the base attack increase between level 80 non-ascended and ascended is only 5, all you have to do is add 20 to each of these rows. Basically, it's really not that much. And so the max attack that we can get is somewhere between around 2,000 to 3,000 extra attack. 
And so with that in mind, let's look at how much attack increase we get at various amounts of HP and at different talent levels. So this chart is pretty much telling us that we don't want to exceed about 50,000 HP or we are going to hit the cap. 30,000 to 40,000 HP is a pretty good spot to aim for. Next, we're going to be taking a look at which substats we should prioritize to get the best return on attack and damage. And so since Hu Tao is scaled off of HP, you would probably think that HP% percent and flat HP are her go-to substats. And because her base attack is so low that you'd probably want to avoid attack percent. So this is probably the most common thinking, and I was curious about this too, so that's why I made this table. To figure out what is going to be her best substats. So this is going to change depending on her level and which weapon she's holding. This is because obviously your level is going to increase your HP, which is going to change the effectiveness of HP% percent subsets, and having a different weapon with higher base attack is going to change how the attack% percent subset scales. And to complicate things even further, her talent is going to play a role into how HP% percent is going to give her more attack. So here is a table for a 5.8% percent subset for either attack or HP. So there is a lot of things going on with this table and I can't really make a concrete conclusion on whether attack percent or HP percent is better as a substat because in all honesty, the answer is just it depends. So feel free to pause the video right now so that you can study this table and figure out which substat is right for you. One sweeping conclusion that I can make is that if your Hu Tao is at a very high talent level and is at a very high base level, then HP% percent is definitely the way to go. But if your Hu Tao is not as invested into, then attack% percent and HP% percent are almost the same. And so since we can see exactly how much extra attack points we're getting, you can see that this is significantly better than a flat attack substat because flat attack substats are giving us only about 16 to 19 extra flat attack. And unfortunately, this also happens for flat HP, since flat HP only gives us at a max 299. So if we take 5.66% of that, we only end up with 17 extra base attack. So in either case, attack percent and HP percent are better than their flat counterparts. So if it were up to me, the substats that I would prioritize on Hu Tao are going to be the crit stats, HP percent, attack percent, elemental mastery, elemental recharge, and then her flat counterparts. All right guys, this is the end of the video. I hope this helped you guys build your Hu Tao. And if it did help you, or if you liked the video, then don't forget to leave me a like and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. All right guys, until next time, I will see you later.